If you need to replace the metal clip on some of your C3 uh, gauge lights, this video is for you. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I just got these from Napa. There is the product number 787133 Universal 5 8 or 1.6 centimeter fit. Uh, it's not exactly the same clip. Uh, somebody on the channel did suggest maybe just replacing the metal clip um, instead of cutting and splicing these, which, you know, it's not a bad idea. I just don't know about... Um, I don't think I'm going to do that just because I don't want to rip these apart. And I don't know about the overall, this dimensions, The, the this is longer than the OEM. Uh, but first I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna check the fitment in the back of the gauge. So let's do that and then we'll come back and splice these up. All right, I'm just gonna use the tack speedo, but all these holes are the same size. So here's the new clip. And I did try to pull this out, see if it would come out. I don't think these are really meant to come out. I think they're really part of that pigtail. So if it comes out, you know, it's kind of broken. So anyway, here's our fitment test. Boom, yeah, nice and snug. And hopefully I can pull this out without breaking it. There we go. All right, so we know it'll fit. So let's splice them up. All right, we got one more to go, but I just wanted to pause right here and say that before you do this, don't, don't just if you have to do all your wires, for example, like there's six of these, I'm only doing four over here and then one over here, but um, don't just chop all these off and then put the new wires on. You could, I mean, you could make them the same length, but they're not the same length. There are three longer ones. So I replaced two of them. And then there's two shorter ones and I'm gonna replace uh, one of those. But you can see right here, I'm, I'm letting them all hang down here, see? So three long and two short, at least at least on my car. Um, so just, just be aware of that. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to make them all long, but you're just gonna have some extra wire back there. We are bulbed up, you guys. All right, so these are done. And I replaced four out of these five. And then I also want to show you a couple things down here. I replaced these two bulbs and you see they're, they are different shapes. Uh, one of them was here. This is different. This is a little bit different light. Um, probably lower center console or maybe even shifter console. I don't think shifter console. I think it's just lower, the lower bezel center bezel and then uh this one was a little different it has a different connector you see it's two wire and then also this one over here um so you know obviously these three are two wire and they're a little different but i think the led should work right if well we're gonna find out um i haven't checked these bulbs but if i if i can put an led in it i'm putting an led in it for right now anyway and then i've got some up here also this two wire pink and light brown or pink and tan and then i replaced one pigtail on this side on the uh, speedo side and is that it yeah i think that's it so and i had exactly enough bulbs which is nice i went through two packs of these bulbs um i don't remember where i got them but i think it was online I got the little LEDs. You got to get the right ones. And that's it. Um, I decided to kind of not go super short on the original, but I figured the more new wire I could put, the better. So that's why I just went ahead and used mostly the new wire when I did these. But of course I gave myself enough room over here. I don't want to, I didn't want to get too close to the loom and end up with no wiggle room if I had to redo it or something. And uh, use the heat shrink wrap crimpers. Uh, last thing is if you don't have one, get one of these little cigar lighters. This thing's awesome. It's like perfect for just, uh, she, um, what am I saying, shrink wrap. 
And then the other tools I used was my little crimper, of course. And uh, this wire stripper is amazing. It, uh, you know, it grabs, grabs the wire and, and then it, see, it grabs it right there and then it, zoop, and it strips the wire. So if you're struggling with wire stripping, that is a lifesaver tool. Um, so that's it up here, you guys. Uh, we are ready to start hooking things back up. As far as I can tell, I still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with the radio connections. I think I'm going to open this little pigtail up that I made and then tap into the yellow wire and then maybe use a new uh, accessory and a ground. Just do my own accessory and ground. Uh, but that'll be in a future episode. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.